Hey guys, uh, this is Emo Tempest here, and I want to show you. Uh, I, I told, I mentioned this that profile in one of my other videos uh, that I was working on, and it's my, I guess, uh, my attempt at a perfect circle for this new format. Um, I got this idea after I've been trying to build this for a while now, ever since that perfect cir circle deck got top sixteen, I think somewhere. Uh, M Cole Forty reviewed that one, and honestly, I didn't like it back then, but. It seems more viable now, I think, with uh, scapegoats at three and stuff like that. Um, but uh, this is pretty much the deck I want to show you guys. It's still in the works. I haven't had a lot of time to play test it. Uh, I did play a couple games. Um, it is fun, to say the least. Uh, and I'm interested in know what you guys think. But uh, this is pretty much the deck, so let's get into it. Uh, first is one Sephiroth. Uh, I like the idea of lifting you know, cards back to your hand and having an extra rank 4 play. Um... You know, with the Call Haunted and for and uh, Fiendish Change, just make things reusable. It's really good. Uh, Dandelion for the tokens. Uh, it's a special plasma. Uh, one Dad, you have a, a high concentrated dark, uh, which is also manipulated by your malicious as well as um, miracles and stuff like that. Uh, two Debris Dragon for the rank, uh, the seven plays, as well as uh, the one shot Star Eater with Fog King. Oh, we'll get into that later. Uh, one Diva, I'm tempted to take this engine out, the whole Water Miracle engine out, honestly. Uh, Diva and one Reese is uh, kind of complicated, especially if you draw the Reese and the Diva into no targets. Uh, I don't want to make this a title zero deck, because uh, I don't want to... That's the problem. I feel like I'm putting too much in right now. But um, Triple Destiny uh, Diamond Dudes, because it still is a Diamond Dude Turbo um, you know, variant, because you have a lot of normal spells that you can hit. Uh, Triple Malicious, which I'm really glad to see is is back. Um, two Plasma. I think drawing three Plasma, drawing into a Plasma is okay, but three is a bit excessive. Uh, with all the draw power you have in this deck, you will you will always end up with the, with the one Plasma. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, the one Fog King. Like I said, it's a it's a one it's a eleven star target for Star Eater. Uh, it's it's a debris uh, Star Eater target. Uh, it's the easiest way to make it. Uh, it also helps if you have, like, let's say something else and he's in your hand. You contribute one of your monsters to make uh, something bigger than normal. So uh, he works on two different levels. He's also a water target. Um, two maxi for the, you know, I guess the OTK stopping and stuff like that. I, like I already mentioned the Reese. Uh, she's a good wall, too, uh, among being a tuner. I think a lot of people forgot about her. I don't know why water doesn't play her. Um, like, mermaids don't play her. Like, Diva into her would be great for two, like, I don't know, for whatever you have. Um, but yeah, she's also Sea Serpent, so that helps for your uh, Atlantean stuff. Uh, and one Summoner Monk, uh, just for the, the Key Beetle plays and stuff like Like I said, the rank 4 plays. Um, spells is a Lure, uh, Diamond Dude Target, a uh, Book, Triple Destiny Draw, Diamond Dude Targets, Foolish, All Diamond Dude, one Magical Planner. Uh, if it's, if Sephiroth isn't a lot around, then, um, I can put hit the fiendish or the call the haunted. Um, two miracles, like I said, to control your to get an AZ on board, another wall, as well as you know manage the darks in your grave. Uh, three pot of duality. As much as I like that it's back at three, I don't really think it's necessary um, at three. I liked it at two, and two seemed to be working out, so I'll probably change this. Uh, one reinforcement of the army to search the warriors, obviously. Uh, and two scapegoats. Uh, a lot of people forget that with scapegoats and dandelion tokens, you can automatically bring out plasma. Um, I know that the card says not for a tribute summon, but technically you're not tribute summoning, you're special summoning. It's just like, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know how to put it, but it's different. Those are his rulings. Uh, people underlook that a lot. So it's if you open, you know, scapegoats and plasma, you have a you have a turn two plasma, or you know. Which is going to get annoying, especially if they didn't, you know, they don't have an answer for it. You'll have a skill drain on board and you'll steal his monsters every turn. Uh, if he gets um, Book of Moon or something like that, uh, the monster will still come. It'll unequipped because he's face down. So the monster will fall off and go to the grave. Uh, just, you know, another little tip about the plasma. Uh, two Call the Haunted to, to keep the Diamond Dude engine going as well as, you know, more synchro plays. Um, if you have a dandy in the grave and they activate MST targeting your call, you'll get tokens, get walls. Um, two fiendish just to slow down, slow them down again. 
uh, one return, uh, opening up, uh, I guess, after you Miracle, let's say you a Diva, and like you'll Synchro for eight, bring out Stardust, you'll Miracle, and then you return, you'll bring out Dark End or, you know, Void Ogre or something. It's just really good plays with the sixes and the twos, um, as well as all the dad banishing too. So this card, this is a this is a win condition all on its own. It always has been. Uh, it sees a lot more play now because of dragons. So yeah, uh, one safe zone just to protect the plasma in the end. If you go plasma and key beetle safe zone, it's over. Like, <laughs> uh, but yeah, and then solemn warning just to stop stuff. The extra deck's a little iffy. I'm working on it. It's really tight because you wanna you wanna try to fit everything in. This is why I want to take out the the, uh, the absolute zero, the zero diva build. But uh, if anything, I'll take the divas out and put plague spreaders in, you know, just to control the diamond dew targets as well. Uh, but two absolute zero, uh, two black rose because you do have the debris and the dandies. Uh, one colossal, dark end, scrap dragon, uh, the one star eater, um, stardust dragon, void ogre. And for the ranks, uh, rank fours, it's uh, Beast Weather, mandatory at all times. Uh, Gem Knight for the, what's his name? Uh, Ophion, uh, Lavalo Chain to put all your targets in the grave. Or to top deck, Dad or Plasma, whatever you have. Uh, May Stroke, uh, also for, what's his name? Uh, Ophion and uh, Key Beetle. Uh, Key Beetle is just a really strong card that... Uh, that is used a lot. Like I said, if you key beetle with safe zone, then that's pretty much, you know, you have a 25 wall that's going to sit there for a while. Uh, Dark End Dragon is an out to a lot of cards like this. It just sends, uh, sends your opponent's monsters to the graveyard. So this is really useful. Um, but yeah, this is the deck in works, guys. I'm going to keep working on it. I want to take this to locals um, soon, hopefully after regionals. Um, but, uh, I don't have a side deck yet. Like I said, I'm just, wor I worry about the main deck first, then the side deck. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, this is Emo Tempest coming to you with a, a perfect circle. Uh, it's not really perfect, but it'll get there. Uh, I'll catch you guys later.